to today, Scarlett. So we're going to see Auntie Ash off to the airport, who's going over to England for s nine weeks. Hey, and then we're going to go to Zealandia. Look at all the birdies. Tweet, tweet. Who's that? It's you. Your cute outfit today. Uh, oh, I'll put it back on you. Should we get going? Because we're running a little bit late. Say bye. So we're just waiting for Mum Mum, eh? To come out to the car. So while we wait, we can show everyone the new studio, which is this building behind us. That's that building there. It's going to be nice and easy to move because the old studio is that building there. That one. And that's Jackson Street out there. And it's a nice quick walk to work because our house is through that gate. Hey! Oh. So the plan was to go to Zealandia for the afternoon with the Far Now, but unfortunately the weather's a bit crap. So we've decided to rain check and probably do that next week. Or next weekend or some other time when I get some time. In fact it won't be next weekend because I'm in Plymouth for the weekend. So maybe during the week if I get any spare minutes and any spare days to do anything slightly fun, Zealandia will be it. Mum and Dad are coming over for dinner so we're going to make an epic Guinness and beef pie. And when I say we, I mean my wife. So I've just had a phone call from one of my clients um, who we're actually doing some work for this week. Uh, we're filming a promo video for them um, to showcase in the hotel and stuff that they can use on uh, their website and other booking websites. Um, but they need some pretty urgent photos of one of their rooms uh, that they're wanting to be able to do the website pretty quickly. So I'm heading up there for the next hour uh, to shoot some real estate kind of photos of the hotel rooms, just empty without people for now. Um, and I might try and do a little bit of video while I'm there as well just to save us on a few shots that we're going to need later this week when we're up there with the models and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm racing up to Emma's Nana's house where we left our car the other night um, as it's got my tripod in it um, and one of my microphones. So racing up there now to grab the car and then I'll be heading to Bullcott Lodge Motel. So I've switched cars, now I'm heading up to the motor lodge. The craziest thing just happened. I was moving my gear into the other car, this car, and I heard this weird squawking noise, kind of like a cat. Actually at first I thought it was a chicken, then I thought it was a cat. And then I looked up and saw two tui birds kind of going at it. And so I thought, oh I'll quickly video this in case something interesting happens. And then this tui flies out the tree and comes swooping down in front of the camera, and then kind of whoosh, pulls up out of the way. the rooms. It's very very tempting to jump on the bed though. Maybe I'll do that So for all my real estate kind of photos I use the Sam Yang 14mm lens. Even though it's got a big bulgy uh, front glass element it's sort of right on the verge of fisheye so you get a really nice wide angle without sort of that bulgy fisheyeness. Um, 
making the rooms look too distorted, so it's kind of perfect. Just photographing the last room, the big tippy dream room, and I'm done. So that job's all finished, now I'm racing into town again. So I've just had a sporadic thought, I'm going to race into a Wellington Photographic on the way uh, out to the pool and see if they've got any Canon 2x extenders, which will extend my 70 to 200 two times. So 200 will become 400 um, and you do lose two stops, but it doesn't really matter when you've got a Canon 5D Mark III, does it? photos and I'll send a few through to the Hut News and Dom posts but in all likelihood they probably won't use them because they lost but it was still the final so they still came second which is still pretty good Make sure you subscribe um, if you like this and that'll just encourage me to do more. Mm -hmm.